What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and as you guys probably already know by now, new characters have been added into Blackout, and today we're going to talk about how to unlock all four of them. So, as it seems, every single Tuesday for the past couple of weeks, they've been adding more and more of the characters to Blackout with different sort of ways and challenges of actually unlocking them. Last week, they included all of the new specialist characters, and I told you guys how to actually go ahead and unlock all those characters last week in a video. So, this week, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to unlock all of the new Zombies characters, which include Bruno, Diego, Shaw, and Scarlet, which is, of course, the chaos zombie crew from the new call of duty game so as far as this video goes i'm going to show you actually how to unlock these characters and then give you guys a few tips on unlocking each one now as far as the easiest way in general to unlock characters it is playing quads the reason being if you're playing solos and you get killed you don't get downed you just immediately die so things like trip mines or getting sniped or things like that are a lot easier to get killed from in solos on top of that it's way easier to survive to the very end when you have a team whereas when you're playing solo it's much more difficult to survive to like the last 5 10 15 people so in general for the easiest way to unlock characters quads is the way to go so now we're gonna hop in and look at all of the individual characters that they have added this week and how to actually unlock them and none of the gameplay you're actually gonna be watching is gonna be my own it's actually gonna be from two different people but the first three characters are from a guy called nothing but skills and I'm gonna link his channel down in the description so you guys can go check him out so the first character we're actually going to talk about, and in my opinion, this is by far the hardest character to actually unlock, is Bruno. So as far as Bruno goes, the item you actually need to get is called a mugshot. And of course, it is simply a mugshot of Bruno. So the question is, where can you get the mugshot from? Now, there are some people saying that they have got it through supply drops. Personally, I have never seen anyone get it through a supply drop. But a next to guaranteed way you can get this is simply by killing the Blightfather. Now, now, the reason why I say next to guaranteed is because the Blightfather also drops items for other characters as well, but if you already have those characters unlocked, it's going to drop Brunos every single time. So as far as where is the Blightfather, the Blightfather is in the graveyard, and he is always going to be there if there is a red beam of light coming from graveyard. You see the red beam of light, you know there's a Blightfather there. So the big question is, how do you kill the Blight Father, and what is the easiest way to do so? Really, there's not an easy answer to this. The Blight Father is simply a really, really big bullet sponge, so it's kind of hard for me to give you an exact way to kill him. But as I mentioned, it is by far the easiest to do in quads. The reason being is you'll have four people shooting at him as opposed to one. On top of that, if the Blight Father happens to down someone, you don't just die instantly. Your team is able to pick you back up. So if I was to give you a strategy, play quads, land at Asylum, equip your team with weapons, and then move over to Graveyard and start shooting away at the Blight Father. The reason why this is better than just simply landing at Graveyard, first of all, you'll have weapons, and there's a ton of teams landing at Graveyard as of right now to kill the Blight Father. So there, you can go and interrupt them as they're kind of killing him. Or if they do kill the Blight Father, they'll have already picked up the items and then you can just pick them up off their dead body as far as the actual fight with the blight father i find that shooting him in the back actually deals more damage so the general rule of thumb is get one person to aggro him and get the other three people on your team to run around and shoot his back now, once you've actually killed the Blight Father and got the mugshot, what do you actually have to do for the challenge to unlock the character? And what you have to do is you have to kill an enemy with a melee attack and then finish the match with the mugshot in your inventory. Now, there's only one thing you have to do here, but it's not easy, especially because most of the time you find the mugshot, it's going to not be right at the beginning of the game. So the biggest advice I can give to you when trying to get a melee kill is find the perk Brawler and wait until you get into a fight with someone and then use it. Because what Brawler does is it makes it so killing someone is a one-hit melee kill. So... Try to sneak behind someone, use Brawler, and then melee them. As I mentioned before, this is probably the current hardest character to unlock, simply because you have to kill the Blight Father, and then on top of that, you have to get a melee kill afterwards, which definitely isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. 
But guys, that is how you unlock Bruno. The next up, this is probably the most confusing character, but not the most difficult, is Shaw. Now, the item that you're going to find for Shaw is called the All Chemical Set, and it makes sense because he is the chemical expert of the group. Now, as far as where you can find the All Chemical Set, there is two options. One option is you can kill a Blightfather, or the much easier option is if you kill a round of zombies in a zombies location. So this could be in Asylum, it could be at the Boxing Gym, or it could be at the Transit Diner. When you clear a round of zombies, when the Mystery Box spawns in, the All Chemical Set can be in there. Now here's where things get confusing. The thing you actually have to do with the all chemical set is very odd. So what it says is kill two enemies with either a wraith fire or acid bomb. So what the hell are those? So when the all chemical set drops either from the blight father or in a mystery box, there will also be four grenades in that area. Either the blight father will drop them or they'll be in the mystery box. There'll be two wraith fires and two acid bombs. Now wraith fires are essentially molotov cocktails but the zombies version and acid bombs are essentially cluster grenades but the zombies version so essentially with four grenades you have to get two kills now as far as tips when using these the wraith fire isn't great essentially you want to use them when someone is sitting still because it's going to deal tick damage after you throw them just like a molotov cocktail as far as the acid bombs aka cluster grenades if someone is inside a room in a confined area or weak throw the grenade at them it'll hopefully kill them and you will get two kills with that out of the two grenades the acid bomb or cluster grenade is absolutely better so rely on those more for kills than the wraith fire that being said though you only have four grenades so use them wisely so as far as the difficulty of this one goes i don't think it's as hard as getting a melee kill but at the same time as i've mentioned you only get four grenades so you really have to be particular and smart about when you actually use them to get the two kills now after this, this is when the challenges start to get a little bit easier, and this one is for Scarlet. As far as Scarlet's item go, you're looking for her racing goggles and scarf, and these are actually one of the easier items to actually find. Once again, this is an item that can drop from the Blightfather, however, a much, much easier way to do this is actually just kill zombies. Some zombies are actually going to just drop this item. It's a random chance, I don't know the exact percentage, but if you just go and kill a bunch of zombies, one of them will eventually drop the scarf and goggles, and then you can move on to the challenge. Now, as far as the challenge goes, all you have to do for this one is simply kill someone with a vehicle, aka run someone over. Now, as far as the easiest way to actually do this, you would assume it's the ATV as the ATV is much faster. However, the hitbox is really, really weird for the ATV. So yes, it's faster. Yes, it'll be easier to hit someone, but you might not necessarily kill them. In fact, if someone's coming at me with an ATV and is about to hit me, all I do is jump and 99% of the time, I don't even take any damage. So in my opinion, the much easier way to get a kill with a vehicle is to actually kill someone with the cargo truck yes it's slower it's easier to dodge but you can take more damage with it and on top of that the hitbox with it is really large so it's kind of easier to actually run someone over and if you see someone laying down they're basically roadkill already now the final character, and in my opinion, by far the easiest character to actually get, is Diego. For this item, you need to find the Pulp Magazine. Now, as far as how you can find this one, once again, it is a random drop from the Blightfather, but the easiest way to do so is once again, just killing zombies. Once again, it is a random drop from zombies, so just go to an area, asylum, the boxing gym, transit, whatever you want, kill a bunch of zombies, and eventually one will drop the Pulp Magazine. Now, once you actually have the magazine, the challenge for this one is to get a kill or down someone with a headshot. If you are playing solos, you have to down one person with a headshot. If you are playing duos, you have to down two people with a headshot. And if you're playing quads, you have to down three people with a headshot. This is the only challenge so far that I believe is the easiest in solos, simply because you only have to get one headshot, and all you have to do for the item is simply kill zombies. So, scratch what I said before when it comes to DM. Don't play quads, play solos for this character, because as I mentioned, it is much easier in solos. 
But guys, that is how you unlock the entire Chaos Zombies crew in Blackout. If you guys found this video informative, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out in any way, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. I tried to give you my best tips possible for every situation and the best way to unlock each one. So like I said, that like would be very greatly appreciated. Let me know down in the comments what characters you've got, what characters you are still looking for, and what ones you're struggling with, and maybe I can help you in a video in the future. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of my videos, the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button and have notifications turned on but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time guys peace out Paradigm.